Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. Okay, we've had kind of an amazing streak of runs lately. Uh, it's been pretty awesome. We've beaten everything except for the Vicious Gauntlet and Namtar. No, we beat Namtar's there. And Naga City. That's it. Every other dungeon in the game, we have we have totally at least beaten once. And that, to me, is just a big pile of happiness. Uh, it's not all due to me being awesome. Obviously, there was a lot of luck with Mr. Berserker and Torog, though I think that combination would win, like, every time. Um, I do feel pretty awesome about how this went down, the Demonic Library with the Sorcerer. That, was a, that wasn't necessarily my play being awesome. It was just a very awesome combination that I kind of figured out would work. Namtar's Lair, on the other hand, I'm really proud of how that went down. I am... I really like the rogue dwarf combination I used. I really like how I played it, and I like that I won. Uh, Namtar's Lair was a big Olympus for me for a while. Uh, big, big, big mountain in my way. And I beat it. And, uh, you know, all accounts, that's the, supposed to be the second hardest dungeon in the game. Uh, a few people I've said mentioned it, said it was actually the hardest. So, you know, this is only just going to be a step up from that. And uh, I'm not going to do it right now. Certainly not. I'm going to Naga City. Naga, 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 Naga City, 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 City. All right. And we're taking our badges with us and our classes with us. Yes. Okay. Naga City. Full of snakes. I, uh, you know, I'm tempted to just take a Berserker again. Um, I don't know what will work well here. Like in the north, this was all the wizard stuff. That's why I thought wizards would probably be good up here. That's why I took a sorcerer. Uh, this was all fighting stuff in the east, and that's why I took a, uh, a berserker. Uh, also, dragons have magic attack, and I, I kind of remembered that. Uh, but this stuff was all rogues, and they're, they're kind of do-it-alls. I mean, I don't see how rogues would have a particular advantage here. I don't know what class to pick, is what I'm saying. I never got the Amulet of Yendor, so I don't really want to go Assassin. Um, honestly, I'm going to go Rogue again. And I'm, I'm picking the, the classes I best play with for these runs. Don't expect that to be uh, a Dwarven Rogue again. That's what I beat Namtar's Lair with. Maybe it's what I'll beat this place with. Uh, don't expect, you know, in the future for me to be able to always win like this uh, in these dungeons. Like, when I'm using classes that are less suited for it, probably won't do as well. Now, we're going to prep to the to the max here. Uh, I did Dwarven Gauntlets last time with the Dwarven Rogue and that was really really good but I think Namtar's Ward will actually be better. Uh, death protections are amazing and even more so on Rogues. Um, you know Dragon Shield might actually be even better than that. It would make it where you know passively I could hit anything a couple of times. Um, attack boosts seem like an excellent plan. Uh, Compression Seal or Translocation Seal. Uh, Compression Seal did real well with me last time. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to go with the Shop Scroll. Uh, extra money. That combination is good. And uh, Attack Boost is a good idea as well. Uh, what are we going to take here? Well, we don't know what we're facing. I'm not going to take the Mana Potion. I am going to take Quicksilver and Reflex because they're both awesome. I'm also going to take the can because it's pretty amazing as well. And oh, I sorry, I burped there. And I'm going to take conjunction. I don't know what would be good for this place. I've never been to this place, so uh, four gods are better than three. That's that's my opinion on the matter. So prepped to the gills for a new vicious run. Basically, it's costing 211 that completely negates the the bonus I get from it being a, a vicious run and takes 11 besides. So let's play with our Dwarven Rogue in Naga City. Uh, this is gonna be fun I hope. Namtar's Ward makes me real happy. Now here's an interesting thing. You start with this Death Protection charged. Uh, death Protection already and Namtar's Ward is already charged so technically I'm thinking he can get two death protections at level one. And as a rogue, that means 
he can get three hits off of anyone. Maybe that's a guaranteed level three kill. Uh, maybe more than that. I'm starting next to a bunch of shops, and I just summoned another one. So let's see what's inside. Fine sword, almost definitely going to buy that. Um, tower shield, almost definitely going to buy that. Um, badge of honor, wow, I can't get all three. Uh, which one to get? I I'm thinking right now, fine sword is better. Um, I might grab those other things shortly, but right now, fine sword is better. And I'm going to go ahead and use this compression seal on... Namtar's ward, just get it off of my menu. I can fit four things. And how much do these guys cost? This costs 14, so I need four more gold, and this costs uh, 18, so I need eight more gold. Which one's more valuable? Probably the tower shield at the moment. Um, well, no, probably the badge of honor at the moment. More death protections. This is good. This is a good start. I like this start. And fireballs right there. I'll grab that up immediately. I'm already up to 13 damage. Keep in mind, if I'm right about Namtar's ward, uh, it is charged. If I'm right about this, uh, 13 times 3, 26, 39 damage. I can do 39 damage. Uh, and most level 3s I don't think have quite that much. So maybe I should be looking for a level 3 instead of a level 2 like I normally do. All right, uh, level one is certainly not it, but I can fireball him and not kill him. I keep kind of going. A Mysterio Noor, apparently, if you fireball things, you know, just kind of spamily, it's a good thing, ultimately. So, you know, I'm just going to do that. And yeah, I can kill these guys in one hit if I need to, but hey. And another one. Interesting. I was just at Dragonland, and there weren't that many dragons there. All right, another shop. Balance dagger? Ah! I could kill all three. Ah! Ah! I don't know what to do. It's so cheap. Um, I like balance dagger. It's right at the beginning, and I can just kill these guys and level up. Yes. Buy it. And it kind of wastes the existence of Namtar's ward, doesn't it? But I don't care. I'm going to kill this dude, and then this dude, and be level two. That's what just happened. Um, Alright, I can go after level 2s now. I can probably go after level 4s. I've got a death protection. Ugh. Wow, I did not expect to see Balanced Dagger just pop in there. Alright, pick this up. Uh, this guy, I can straight murder. So I will. It got rid of my death protection? How? Oh wow, I only have 10 life. That was a huge mistake on my end. Uh, let's put my death protection back. Uh... And I can win this fight. Uh, I did not. I, that would have been a misclick death if I didn't have a death protection. But uh, whatever. If I can level up without um, using another one, that'll be fine. I'm up to 22 damage already. This is this one's starting well. Uh, it's more gold. I should probably buy one of these things. Tower shield. No, I can't afford anything. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm up to seven though. Uh, level four enemy. Yes, I can kill him. Uh, no, I can't kill him. Yes, I can kill him. He blinks. I can't kill him. But I can fireball him. Just get rid of him. Bye-bye. Alright, more mana. I could probably kill him now if he wouldn't blink away, so I'll, I'll head towards him. Since I know he's there. What are you? You're an easy corrosive kill, is what you are. But, uh, I have no interest in messing with you right now, my friend. Let's grab this gold up. I could definitely take this tower shield now. No. Uh, badge of Honor, no. Alright, continuing explorations. Then Weakening Blow, I don't like that. Uh, so I'm not going to be fighting this Naga. Anytime soon. I'm mm, going to go this way. Because there might be things over here. I'm kind of hoping for an Ender's Wall, actually. Uh, is that Tiki Tookie? That's interesting. Uh, Tiki Tookie, pretty good guy for a rogue. Especially as I get higher in level, he'll be useful. Uh, this guy. Um, do I need my death protection just to survive one hit? Yes, I do. And I won't get two death protections. This is inert now, right? But show up. Tell me if you're inert. I think you are inert. Yes, that's inert. So I can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, I can go this way and get nothing. Guess I'll be exploring up then. Looking for level threes, level twos, anything like that. Uh, Pendant of health. 
uh, extremely valuable. I'll in fact pick that up right away. Buy it. Be happy that you have it. It's more valuable than those other things you saw. Uh, increased damage. Yes. Uh, what else here? 22 life. So I could take on this guy or this guy maybe. No, I've still only got 22 life and he's got 27 total. This guy is more of a pain. My fireballs might make it possible. Um, I, since I didn't run across a level 2 is the only reason I'm considering this. Yep, I'll just kill him. It's the same as killing someone my level. As far as experience. And honestly about as far as resources. So that's fine. Let's, uh, let's continue on. I've got 28 health now. I don't see any level 3's about. Uh, I can kill this guy. He mana burns me, but uh, I won't actually be mana burned because I'm going to fireball him down first. Uh, yeah, I might still be mana burned from this. He blinks away. I forget about blinking all the time. Alright, let's do that. That'll leave him at 32. Where'd he go to? Right there. And I can just kill him. Very nice. No mana burn for me. Alright. So, we've got these health potions. Pick those up since they're just hanging out. Tiki Tiki might be my friend at some point, but not right now. Uh, where do we want to go? A kind of an excellent run of form going on. Let's go this way. And up here, we're kind of looking for anything interesting. Anything at all. I'm going to have to turn the volume down because there's that person, permanent fireball sound that's been happening. This game is beta, so stuff like that is inevitable. All right, 32. Uh, attack and 31 health right now. That's that's happening. Let's uh, head there. A level one annoying vampire dude. A level two dude. I'm looking for level threes and level fours, or really anything I can kill. What's well, this way? Less exploration. Man, I've used a lot of the map actually. Way more than I should have by now. Level three. Um, hmm. Not really an easy kill though. Wow, I have used all the exploration, haven't I? I'm going to kill this vampire just so I can explore enough so I can hit this guy. Uh, no, it's safe to hit him. It doesn't use my death protection. So I should do that and level up. Yep, my death protection is still there, and I'm level 4. Okay, level 4 me can take on this level 6 dude. The answer is yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how about this level 7 dude? No, 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 no. Well, with fireballs, if, if he doesn't blink away, this would be kind of a coup. So, one and two. Oh, he blinked away. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't need the fireballs for this one. I just need the death protections. Uh, so, hit. And I dodged, which is fantastic. Because I just realized he's poisonous, and I should probably save that kill for later. Uh, since I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to explore up here. Check out this shop. Uh, Alchemist scroll. Could be nice. Uh, yeah, you're a vampire. I get it. I don't like you any more than you like me. I need a little bit. I'm going to kill that vampire. Uh, just going to do this and then kill him. He's my level, so it's fine. Okay. I think I can kill you, my friend. But I need to be at full health to do it. Seriously with the vampires. Seriously with the vampires. Okay, um, can I kill you in one hit? No. Yes. Yes, I can. I can fireball you, and then win. Perfect. Alright, and I can explore up this way, and hopefully there won't be a vampire. There wasn't. Good. Alright, Blinky. I would love to kill you, and I can kill you, so I'm going to try and kill you. Vampire might be a better option. Uh, how, can I do this? He does, no, it takes too many hits ultimately. Alright, so this guy is the only real chance here. Um, two fireballs. And he blinked down here. Another fireball. That's fine. Oh, he blinked over there. Never mind then. I'll go after this guy instead. He'll level me up now. So, I can just hit him. And that used it a death protection, but I can get another one. And hit him. And win. Levels me up, and I can grab my death protection at any time. Uh, it's not necessary at the moment, though, so I won't be putting it on at the moment. I could take out this vampire fairly easily. No, he has too much health. 
I haven't really found anything that increases my health yet, and I haven't been converting stuff because I haven't run across any glyphs besides this burner as. Been unfortunate. Um, haven't found my bosses either. Let's think here. I probably want to go after this guy. I don't see any level fives hanging out. Uh, life steal, undeadness. How much damage does he do? 49. The tower shield would make it possible, but I don't have the money. So, how many hits does it got to be? One, two, three. I could kill him, but I'm going to wait and see if there's not a better target. Uh, well, I don't want to explore too much. I'll just kill her. Those are annoying. All right, halt me. Halt me is excellent. You know why? Because it gives me a nice opportunity to do this. Five extra health. Now I can kill that dude. Let me see. Also excellent. Why? Five extra health. That's why. Um, probably want to go after this guy now. Uh, 63 damage. I can't anymore, can I? Because I don't have but one death protection. Uh, I need two death protections to take him on. Let's go to full health. Uh, there's a bit of attack power as well, but do I need it for this guy? I don't. So I'm just going to take this guy down. Two fireballs. One. And two. Very nice. And one hit. And he dies. Perfect. Um, what about you? How many hits does it take? Oh... If I could survive one hit, then the death protection would work, but I can't really, can I? Let's increase my damage to 52. Uh, maybe uh, maybe I can fireball you into submission. Uh, enemy resists, minus one, that's pretty cool. Let's check out this underground passage. It looks like we've got some exploration here. Uh, a lot of corrosive things with first strike and no experience, that's not good. But we've got some exploration for free, and that is good. Alright, we'll be back here, I suppose. I suppose we could fireball them. They're not um, they're not magic resistant. Alright, I'm going to go. And let's see here. What enemy do we want to face? Anything my level would be fine, but there is nothing at my level. Uh, anything a little bit above me would be fine. I could take this guy out, but I would receive weakening if I did. Um, I can get two fireballs off though. How, tw 40 damage from the two fireballs, 38. Okay, I can take this guy out. Uh, fireball. Fireball. And win. Perfect. How about you? One, I need one, two, three, four hits. I can only get two and a half of those. I can get lucky with this and get a dodge, but uh, counting on luck is not the best plan. So let's explore a bit. I suppose I should do that down here. Um, but I I'm kind of looking for stuff like that. Uh, now it's one, two, three hits. No, it's still not going to happen. The fireballs aren't going to get strong enough to make that work. Let's look at my enemies. Like this guy. This guy I can kill now. Um, as long as he doesn't blink away, he is definitely killable. So, fireball. Please don't blink away. Um, one more fireball. I'm going to be monoburned if this doesn't work out for me. And he blinked away. He's blinked away every time. So annoying. Okay. So, piercing wand. Uh, not really what I want to deal with. Let's just explore up here, I guess. A level 8 vampire and a level 7 gorgon. I can probably take the gorgon out. No, she has first strike. That's a problem. If I could slow her, it would be different. But I can't. So it doesn't matter what I think. I've only got 55 total health. If I had a little bit more health, it would also be fun. If I had a little bit more health. Um, but I don't. So there's no use crying about it. Take that money. This is a pretty difficult place. It's looking like I'm going to have to kill some lower level things. So I need to think about how I'm going to leverage that to my advantage because it's going to level me up to kill the things in my way. Uh, I guess these level 8 vampires are the way to do that. So I can't hit them straight on. Uh, this one's a little bit weaker. But I could fireball him twice and use up a death protection on him I suppose. I need to use this death protection anyway. Uh, I'm going to fireball this guy twice. Yep, and one more time. That gets rid of his excess. 
And then I will level up instead of using up a death protection. Because you really can save one. Uh, I just mono burn myself. I'm glad he blinked somewhere I could get. Alright, and he's dead. Now I can look up at this guy, and how are we going to do this? Uh, I, I still don't have enough, so I will use my death protection to make this happen. We're going to fireball him once, then we're going to hit him twice. Once and again. For the win. Alright, fair enough. 13 of 30, I need to heal up. I'm going to go down here to do so, just to find out what's going on. Okay. Looks just like a lot of exploration. There's something behind these guys. I think there's no way to really avoid corrosion getting behind them, so I don't want to deal with that at the moment. Corrosion could be totally my bane. Uh, let's see. I could kill him. That would be nice. I've only run across one altar, so they've got to be packed in somewhere around up here or over there. Um... I suppose this guy is actually a, a viable target if I'm at full health. So let's do that. Let's get to full health. 64 of 64. Actually, it didn't matter, did it? It's not about the health with these guys. It's about the mana. I already had full mana. So how many times do I have to hit him? Far too many, I think. Uh, one more. Fireball. Yes, and I can kill him using my death protection. I will. Uh... Hit and win. All right, I'm five away from leveling up. There are no good targets. I will kill this guy. Just get him out of the way. And I'm two away from leveling up. And it's exploration time. This guy is in my way, so I won't go that way. This guy. Um, 78 damage. I can't really, can't really do it. There's no way. Ah, uh, I'm feeling blocked off on all sides here. I'm just going to waste a level up, really? I don't want to do that. Let me think. Um, I get to full mana by going here. I could fireball this guy twice. That would do nothing for me. But then I'd level up and I could hopefully kill this guy. So, fireball. Oh, he gets out of my way, at least. That's all I really wanted. Because we need to explore this whole path and it goes to the end and nothing is there really this is um, this is confusing to me I'm gonna go kill who am I gonna kill uh, this guy because I'm blocked I, I seriously just got blocked in didn't I I'm cut off from that side of the map I'll kill this guy then because it accesses this area for me uh, blood to power uh, I, I guess I'll just convert that this is not the best at the moment. Um, a lot of bad juju going on here. How much damage do you do? 78. That's too much. I have to level up, so I may as well do it fighting uh, the level 7. And it's really the best I can do. Uh, crap, I can't even beat her. I really can't. Let's, uh... I can hit her once, like that, and then I can fireball her twice. But she does 63 damage. Um, I don't know if I can out-regen her, if I've even got enough space to regenerate fight her. Uh, picked up this health potion, and I can go here. Honestly, anything I do is going to level me up. I don't want, oh, here's a little bit of space. And there's a little bit of space. It gives me a fireball. So I could I could hold her down a bit. If I could get up to the 63 that I need, I could do that. Um, hmm. I don't want to level. I don't want to waste experience like that. So, I guess I'll go down. And all this experience has been used. I will take one level of corrosion. Uh, it sucks, but it's going to happen, but it got me some experience. Uh, it got me a lot of that anyway. And I can safely hit her and fireball her for the kill. Fine. Hit, fireball, win, level up, bang. Alright, at least I can explore up here now. 
I, I'll go through this guy, maybe. Seems like the appropriate choice. Uh, fireball, hit, and a couple hits will kill him off. Yep. Okay. No high-level dudes left hanging around. There's a level 10. A hooded figure. He has weakening blow. He's a pacifist. And he wants to talk to me. All right. What you want to talk about, my friend? It is brave of you to come here. But your plans are known to me. I'm not going to do that anymore. But fear not. There are those within the Empire who disagree with the princess's desire for war. He wants to show the Emperor that he is more worthy of the crown than his brothers. And as a great deal of blood will be spilled on both sides for his vanity. You can slay the Mad Prince in honorable combat. Our people may see the folly of war. I know of an opportunity if you will follow. Are you done here? I am not done here. So is that what I've got to do here? Is just level up as much as possible? Um, if that's the case, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, a little bit more mana, a little bit more health. Uh, I can kill this dude. I prepped four altars. I have not found four altars. Seriously. I guess I can kill this guy because I have the dagger. Um, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing to kill him. I should definitely use this right here and try not to waste it. A hit and a couple fireballs later. Yep, just like that. And I can win. So I got a little bit extra. Um, I've got this for exploration. A little bit of health potion, which is nice. Another shop. Um, battle mage ring? No. I can kill this one. Pretty much no troubles. Appears over here, and I can just kill him. Levels me to level 8, which is absolutely fine. Uh, let's go. continue on. Level 5 I can just kill. This is the strangest thing ever. Uh, this level 8 I can kill, probably. If there's a way to do it without getting mana burned, I'd like to utilize that. Fireball, fireball. Uh, that gets him out of the way, at least. Kill this guy to explore over here. I need to continue exploring up here. Level 9, Vampire. Oh, okay. I can I can fight that vampire, no problem. Ooh, that's corrosion. And that's corrosion. I don't want any corrosion. There's no way to explore that area without getting corroded. Same with this area. I would really like a wait what or something. All right, but I've, I've kind of got to because I need the exploration. And there's more things. I could have just explored right there. Why am I an idiot? Okay. Let's get uh, full health, and I've got two layers of corrosion on, which totally sucks. I'm going to hit this guy once and dodge, which is miraculous, so I can just kill him now. And level up pretty soon. Uh, she is pretty strong. If I can get to full exploration, I will. Let's go here. Um, there and there. 82. 82 is not enough. Uh, if I take a layer of corrosion, I can do it. That's so tempting. Oh, no, here we go. Okay, 90. Crap. Uh, I don't want more corrosion. I want to kill this thing, though. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll do the same thing I do at Namtar's lair. I'm going to get as close as I can to leveling up and then leave. I can kill this guy in one hit, yes. Uh, kill this. Kill this guy. And maybe there will be something there uh, that I can level up off of. I'm, I'm going to be five away from leveling. Not quite at full health. This is inert still, or not? Yeah, it, no, it's charged. Um, that's good. So I get two death protections on anyone I fight. Now let's just look in these shops. Or I could go after her. I can kill her if I'm willing to waste a death protection. Uh, let's just look in these shops. Battle Mage Ring. Badge of Honor. Uh, Tower Shield. All those things are useful. Um, this could get rid of Corrosion, couldn't it? Poison and Weakening. Bur mana Burn and Corrosion. This gets rid of Corrosion. 
I can afford this. And I'm going to. Alright, now I can explore. And there's another shop there. Crystal Ball. No. But I will kill you. Oops, I leveled. Oh well. It hopefully won't be that big of a deal. This corrosion doesn't actually matter to me. Uh, and since corrosion doesn't matter to me anymore, let's go ahead and go down here and kill these things. See if there's anything of value. Like this. Sticky stick. A fragile piece of plant matter that grants the wielder corrosive strike. Yes, please. I have corrosive strike. That's pretty cool. Uh, do these plants normally drop stuff like that? Um, No, it doesn't. Alright, fair enough. I have 11 layers of corrosion on me. I should kill her now, because I can easily. And I dodge, which makes it even better. Alright, I dodged twice. Uh, this guy, also an easy, easy kill. Should do it. I got mana burned for my trouble. That was dumb. Um, but he's dead, so that's okay. Let's head up here. Uh, yes, this was definitely worth it. I'm going to convert that. Get more health. And I have fully explored and killed absolutely everything. This is weird. Uh, there was only one altar, and it's Tiki Tookie. And I don't see that he's going to offer me anything of value. I mean, increased dodging would be great, but, uh, you know, I, honestly, I didn't use him. Reflexes would be awesome, but is he even going to be in the next place that I am? I don't, I don't get what's going on. All right, so I am going to talk to this guy and see, let's go, what happens here. All right, so there's another altar to my right. It looks like Pact Maker. There's a bunch of shops down there and a bunch of question marks below me. I can talk to him again. He's got weak skin blow. He's a pacifist. I could kill him pretty easily, though. Only 190 health. Let's talk. Welcome to the heart of Tetel Tamas Adventure. You have gained entry to the Spider Arena as my captive. If you survive three rounds, challenge the prince to single combat. He must accept for the sake of his pride and reputation. By the honor of our culture, no one will intervene if you can slay him. I've arranged for you to keep your equipment. The, the rest is up to you. All right. Fair enough. I like the rest. What is this? This is Pact Maker. Worship. I can take Consensus and uh, Scholar's Pact won't be that useful. Warrior's Pact. And it's kind of late for that. Alchemist Pact. That might be useful. Um, body Pact. Cost of four piety. Damage from new enemies. And Costify Fight. Yeah, I think Warrior's Pact is not going to happen. I think Alchemist Pact is the best plan. So, because I haven't used any potions yet, if I take Alchemist Pact, I can get lots of extra experience and maybe some extra level ups. Um, it might be worth going ahead and taking a. Oh, this will get rid of my uh, Mono Burn as well. So I can take that and get rid of my corrosion effects which is good and start traveling down prayer room click to continue oh I've got all kinds of gods that I can choose from um interesting okay I I I, I hmm I've got 50 what would be good I don't know it's down here. Ah, with 50 m ticky took ah, I don't know. I don't I'm going to go faithless except for uh what's his name? I can come back up here maybe after I see what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's good. You emerge from the passage and step into the open center of the Colosseum surrounded by a crowd of spectators. A booth on the opposite end of the arena houses Kenishahau. Sun-touched prince of the Naga Empire. Tonight's first contender has arrived. He bellows, may combat commence. All right. So, oh crap. We've got a level 10 meat man. We've got a tower of goo. We've got Frank the zombie. This is not good. Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, three rounds. Okay, three rounds of combat. I've got to kill all these dudes. I can't kill any of these dudes. 760 health. 
Uh, the Tower of Goo, I don't want to deal with. This guy, I don't want to deal with. This is the one I probably should fight. Um, yes, he is probably who I should fight. Uh, there's shops down here, but it would waste all my exploration. I have sticky... I could use that. I um, don't know what to do. I've got a couple of death protections. <sighs> is this been used? Yeah, it's charged, so I can use my current death protection. How much fireballs do against you? Not very well. Uh, well, you, on the other hand... Alright, ha! Ah, how many bosses am I going to have to fight? Are these guys bosses too? Are they easier bosses? Because I'd like that. I'm going to use this can right here. If it'll let me. Very good. And I will then hit this meat. Very hard. And then I will hit him again. Hard again. And then I will fireball him. Once. And... Yes, just once. And I will start exploring. So I'm not going to be wasting my exploration is kind of my theme here. I'll fireball him twice. All right, because he does 58 damage. He's at 600 and... Well, he's at 706 health. That I need to remember. Because after my next attack, he needs to be lower than that. So I can hit him again. And fireball him again. All right, I do have low-level enemies around the corners. Okay. All right. I can I can beat Meat Man, I think. Um, as long as I keep him fireballed. Uh, he's doing 58. There we go, just like that. And I can hit. And fireball. Very nice. And I will continue this all the way around. So is this a spectator or it's just an easy kill? All right. I can check out this shop in a second. Uh, anyway, it brings him down to 400 and 32. All right, is it 432? And I need to remember it's 58 health that I need. So 44 health, uh, 53, 50, 62. Hit and fireball. 331 is what he's down to. Oh, maybe the meat man first was a bad idea. All right, and this way, and I can hit him and fireball him. I'm taking him down by a lot every time, but it's not enough. Uh, there we go. We're up to almost where we need to be. All right, and I can hit him and fireball him. And is that the win? Not quite. 43 short, so next hit is the win. So I'll just go here and down one. Uh, safe to hit. And I dodged, which is excellent because I can just kill now. All right, there's a meat man, if I've ever seen one. And I can sell his bones. All right, you, my Tower of Goo, uh, and Frank. Frank will be easier than the Tower of Goo, most likely. I've got a level up kill available probably let's heal up for a second here let's go down here what's in this shop kego mana yeah yeah that'll be helpful against the tower so let's oh I can't buy that because I have stuff in my inventory pendant of health is pretty important fine sword burned her as um here's what we can do I can pick this up there's gonna be three rounds of this combat and get rid of this dagger, because I don't need any more. Uh, I can... I need to keep burned her as, for sure. Pendant of health. I don't feel like I have, I've got to keep it anymore. These guys are... Yeah, I don't need to keep pendant of health anymore. It, it's, it's done its job. So I can do that. And I can buy this Kegomana. Which, the Kegomana, plus three mana potions is going to be how I kill the Tower of Goo. So, fireballs. I need a lot of them. And hopefully, that'll be good enough. So, fireball, fireball. Um, I'll do a hit as well. 
But then it's all about mana potions. Uh, who am I even worshipping? Oh, yes! I'm going to be getting a level up in the middle of this fight as well. I didn't remember that. This is charged, so I should definitely use... Alright, I have to keep a close watch and make sure I use up my death protection before I die. So, use Mono Potion twice. And use it again. And when I say before I die, I mean before I level up. It's not even close to the same thing. Alright, I can do this, which is good. Um... But I'm, I'm quickly running out of... Alright, one more will level me up. Just like that. And I can kill this dude. And I'm now level 10. Perfect. Gives me a couple more fireballs. I should have hit him an extra time. I'm an idiot. I should have hit Frankie, actually. Uh, a couple fireballs. And a hit, actually, as well. And a couple fireballs. Uh, one more fireball is all I need for this. Uh, yes. And win. Perfect. I can grab this gooey mess and sell it. And let's check out this shop. Amulet of Yendor! There's no way I'm going to be able to afford that. Uh, Kega Health. That I can afford and probably should buy. Um, yes. Kega, Amulet of Yendor keeps showing up and being like, you can't have me. Alright, so. I can kill that guy not in one hit. Unfortunate. I can, uh, I can go around here and do my level ups. Which is what I need to do. I, I can kill this dude right away. There we go. Alright, Frankie is my next fight. Okay. Uh, I can hit Frankie a number of times. I want to save my death protections. Um, that's important. But I've got lots of health potions. Let's keep that in mind. Alright, so let's get my hit off on him. My one legitimate hit. And then two fireballs for sure. I mean, that is there after all. And what is next? I can't kill this guy in one hit, can I? No. How about you? Yes, I can. Alright, what am I going to do? Well, I technically regenerate faster than him. because uh, So I can try to do a little bit of... No. How much damage does he do? He does 90. Every health potion is a hit. That's probably what I'm going to do. So, health potion. Uh, hit. Uh, health potion, and this is getting me closer to a level up as well, which is important. Uh, three closer every time. Um, or two health potions actually here. And a hit. Oh, and I dodge. Every time I dodge, it's a, a saved health potion, which is good. Um, one mana potion, which gets me even closer to leveling up. A fireball. Out of that, yes. And one more hit's all I need on him. Uh, it's going to be two health potions to do it. And I will level up on this kill, won't I? Nope, I'll be very, very close, though. Which is fantastic. Uh, the next potion I use will level me up. I will hit. And win. Very good. Oh, it resets everything. That's good. That's very good. Alright, is this round two? Welcome to the heart, yep. Uh, survive three rounds. Okay, everything's been reset. I don't have any burn on me. I'm very close to leveling up, so I can level up kill my first dude. Uh, there's brain right there, which means Amulet of Vignor might be a real purchase. Okay, we've got this guy who poisons. We've got this guy who will be the easiest of the kills. And we've got this guy who mana burns. All right, physical resist is 60% on this one, uh, but this one has significantly more health. So it's it was six of one, half a dozen of another. I just have to be over 108 health to hit anything. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm going to level up fight this guy first. 
So to do that, I'm going to go over here and get a fireball. Just like that. So he's got a little bit of burning on him. And who are you? Uh, you will not quite level me up. So that's not good. Get another fireball off. Uh, well, I, I need to explore this way, don't I? But I'll get my other fireball off just to see if that's going to work at all. Probably won't. Uh, this guy plus this one will level me up. Perfect. I'll just go ahead and kill this one. And now I can go after this guy in earnest. Oh, man. Okay. So. One hit. And I can get another hit. Perfect. Then I will use this, which is charged. Hopefully, uh, it'll get another charge when I do this. Um, please tell me it did. It did. Okay, good. And now I can kill you with fireballs and attacks. So fireball, fireball, and win. Perfect. Okay. Amulet of Yendor down there is now purchase purchasable. So how am I going to do this next bit? I'm not going to get another level up like that. Uh, Mr. Monoburn is going to be a problem. A little bit. But not hugely. This guy could also be a problem. Uh, who do I want to go after? Physical resist. How much are my fireballs doing to him? I can't even do a fireball right now. Uh... I could do this and get either one of them. This is obviously the one I should go after because I don't want to be mono burned. So let's get up a, let's sell these things. Sell that and go here, sell here uh, and here. All right, so I've got a fireball ready, just one, but let's get it up to two. Uh, yes. Okay, so I can hit this guy once and fireball him twice. Hit and dodge so I can hit him again. And dodge so I can hit him again. That was real, 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 real lucky. A uh, couple fireballs off. I can barely win this fight right now, actually. I uh, don't want to waste the death protection. So I'm not gonna. I can do this, and I should regenerate faster than him. Let's experiment with that. I have to do a hundred. We both do 108 damage, so it should work out. Um, uh, the fireball. Does he have some kind of a physical resist? Why does he not die? Yeah, he's got 20% physical resist. All right, so I can fireball him again after a hit and that will make the difference okay so I do need to get 108 112 I can hit him and fireball him for the win perfect last dude is this guy and since all this exploration comes back let's see what we've got here we've got a zombie we can kill uh, let's just do that we've got an amulet of Yindor we can buy sell the goblin bone let's just do that uh, if I have to, if I don't have to use the amulet of Yendor, then that's brilliant. Okay, we've got a dragon we cannot kill in one hit. Yes, we can, and we're going to win. All right, perfect. I'm still thinking I might get another level up. Uh, this guy will not die in one hit, but yes, he will actually. So I'm going to go there and get this fireball going. Perfect, and win. All right, I will get another level up. Will this guy do that level up? No. Good, it'll be just short. Oh, all right. I need my exploration. All of it. Uh, need a door to divinity delivery. Pay 20 gold to activate this Godotron altar and access your favorite deity today. No. Uh, one of these gods might be useful, but no. I don't know of a way I could get piety up with any of them fast enough to be valuable. So, well, maybe her. No, they're all bloodless enemies. So I can do my uh, two fireballs 
on this guy. So that can happen. And again. And I still have to hit him one, two, three, four, five times. That's not the best. Uh, I could use these potions, but I kind of want to save them. I don't see as I have too much choice though. Let's kill this guy just because we can and think. I don't have much of a choice. This is charged so I can get two hits that way. I can hit him, uh, use two death protections and then use some heals if I wanted to do it that way. I don't really to be honest. Uh, corrosive stick. Amulet of Yendor is going to come in play here. I can, I can tell. Um, health potions. All right, how I want to do this? I'm gonna use health potions. So I'm gonna hit him, and health potion won't get another hit. So I won't use health potions. I'll use death protections. No, what's worth more? A death protection or two health potions? That's a that's actually an interesting question. I don't know. Is the answer? Uh, a level up is the answer. Uh, I'll use a health potion. And another health potion. Oh, now he's going to level me up if I kill him, only. That's not good. Uh, one away. One away. Is there one space of exploration somewhere? No. This health potion is going to fully heal me, which is bad. It's okay, though. I'm going to win this fight, at least. Uh, yes. So, hit... Uh, that happened just like that and Namtar's ward and it'll leave me barely alive and win and level up as a matter of fact all right I'm fully healed I'm as far away from a level up as possible but I can still get one thanks to the amulet let's do this I've got two potions left to my name and that's it uh, none of this stuff is sellable, except for that. I could get a god still. What enemies we got here? We've got Mr. Magic Attack. Oh my gosh, he does more damage than I have health. Ah. Uh, I, I can put on death protection, though. This guy I can take out pretty easily. This guy I can take out pretty easily. This guy does more damage than I have health, and I don't know how to approach that right now so I've got to figure something out um this guy mana burns and is poisonous this guy has magic resist let's kill mr. magic resist first I guess can I uh, maybe I should kill mr. mana burn first yeah I'll kill mr. mana burn first so two fireballs just like that uh, one hit give me a curse and a mana burn and I can win. There. Now I can level up fight anyone. How do I fight this guy? I need way more health than I have. I'm not even... I am a dwarf. I can get more health. Oh, this is bad. Okay. So let's... This guy's got magic resistance. Uh, and he takes 90 damage. Um, no way for me to get rid of anything. Ah, <sighs> Wraith Cowl, I can sell. Uh, this guy I can kill. So I will. Uh, I've got a, my death protection on already. This is getting bad. This is getting really bad. I don't think I can win anymore. I'm poisoned. Why am I exploring? Oh, God. Uh, so until I level up, I can't do anything. Huh. So I'm going to get one hit off on him now. And I dodged, which is miraculous. Get my other hit. I dodged again, which is amazing. Get my other hit. I dodged again. Whoa. All right, I'll win. That was just a free kill. That was awesome. All right, so I can hit this guy now and be barely alive. I uh, will do that. And then I will level up using the Amulet of Yendor. Alright, so I've got 130 health. 
He does 135 damage. Um, that's obviously a problem. I can get a death protection, which is significant. I don't have any disadvantages except that he's going to kick my butt unless I convert something. It doesn't matter what I convert. Sticky stick, probably going to be it. I want to keep my burned razes. I want to keep all this. All right, sticky stick, I love you, but I need to convert you for health. Um, I wasn't the best. Now, unfortunately, I need to get back to full health. It's going to be one square. I better not be 10 short of killing him in the end. Okay, two fireballs. One and two. And I can hit him. And dodging is just happening for me. Kill him. Whoa. Just happened. Okay. That was round three. Round four. Uh, my dodging has gone out of control. I will say that. All right. You have the nerve to confront Sun Touched One inside his own sanctum. You may feel confident enough to take on a few petty monsters, but I doubt you have enough strength to fight me. You should have asked for freedom while you had the chance. First you, and then your kingdom. How bad are you? You are corrosive, but other than that, you're not too horrible. You have magical attack. You have five death protections. You are pretty bad. Oh, okay. So I can just sell that. Um, well, this needs to happen. And this needs to happen. Uh, do I have a death protection available? Come on, pop up, little tooltip. No, that's inert. So there's not going to be any more death protections for me, except for the one I've already got. Uh, this is a dodge. Okay. And now comes kind of the truth of this. I can hit him like that. No, this cannot be happening. Guards to me. Why do none of you heed the call to your, of your prince? This creature is trying to murder your future ruler. Yeah, he is. All right, so I can hit you again, my friend. Did he just run away? Oh, the coward. You're not allowed to be cowardly, dude. All right, fireballs. Crap, he's magic resistant, and now he's cowardly. Uh, his death protections are going to be what saves him. I can't do anything. Oh, man. Are one of these gods capable of saving me? Uh, no, 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 no. One of these gods. Let me think here. Torog gives death protection for only if you have massive amounts of piety. The only person that can help me... I should have explored around him to keep him from doing what he just did. Can any of them help me? Who could I even get anything for? I've cast a lot of spells. Mr. Anor does like that. Uh, Jehora won't care about me. Torog won't do anything. Tiki Tuki will raise my dodge chance, which won't help me. Dodging doesn't help right now. It's death if I just attack him. He's got magic resist 50%. Ah, uh, Glowing Guardian. Uh, no, he won't help me. Dracul. No. I'm thinking Earth Mother is my only choice. Uh, Reed? Yes. Worship. What can she give me? She can give me clearance. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to fireball this guy once. I'm just going to back him up. He's going to heal even more, which is crap. But now he heals slower. <sighs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright. Fireball him again. Because I can't hit him. Uh, he does 90 damage. That's pretty bad for me. I can only explore three. There's no real choice other than that. Um, so I will. And I can't hit him still because I've got corrosion on me. Uh, Alright, I'm going to explore one tile, which will allow me to hit him again. Yes. That's a death protection gone. And I can fireball him. That's another death protection gone. Oh, and he's trapped in his little corner. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay, okay. I might be able to do this. Ugh. All right. You, lady, worship. I need worship you. And I need plantation. Uh, and now I need clearance. That gives me another fireball. Okay. One more fire. Does you, do you have burning on you? Yes, you do. I'm going to go here. I can't kill this guy in one hit. That's a problem. I, f I could have killed this guy in one hit. Uh, I can get rid of this guy's burning. All right. Um, so I can't fireball him down right now. I need to get above 90. I also need to fireball this dude once. Um, and you went away. But that's fine. I need to get above 90 health. Uh, can I survive a hit? I can survive a hit. Do I have a death protection or something? What's going on with that? I'll just be corroded. That's fine. I can be corroded. Why would I survive this hit? 20% damage to dodge, evasive, corrosion 3, consensus. I do not know, but it's not saying death. And it's saying I would have one hit point left. Uh, I'll go with that. I, I believe you. Please work. It did work. I don't know why that worked, but it worked. Now is it saying death for me? Now it's saying death for me. All right. But I can fireball you, which is good. I can hit this guy. No, I can't hit that guy. Okay. Still, we are improving. All right. We're going to go there and there. There's a guy I can hit. Not important at the moment. Uh, burning one. I need to get higher. Uh, how much life do you have? Too much. I need to get above what I need is 101. Oh, I can kill this dude. He doesn't have any death protections. That's a win for me. Nope, that's just a death protection gone. All right. Now it's a win for me if I fireball him. As the sun touched one's lifeless body falls to the cold, hard floor of the arena, the Nagda populace erupts in a mountain of chaos. Now is a good time to leave the city and bring news of victory back to your kingdom. The Naga nobility can be left to their internal quarrels. Congratulations, hero. You've just defused the war. I feel awesome about what just went down. Uh, did I pay really well? Yes, I did. I played totally awesome. Did I deserve that win? Yes, I did. I totally deserved that win. Uh, I'll take a curse. Kill everyone. Uh, and I'm a wall. I'll just convert. No, I'll just pick it up. And can I talk to this guy? Yes, I can. Welcome to the heart of uh, single combat. So he doesn't change. It doesn't update. Okay. Naga Cauldron. All right. Made by the Sun Priest of the Old Naga Empire increases a potion effectiveness for each debuff type on the character. Health potions allow overheal. That's weird. I don't know how to use that effectively. Um, what does each debuff type even mean? I'm going to pick that up. And I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna do my unvic my victory dance. I even got unstoppable. I killed everything. Whack! Look at that. Look at all the level ten things that I killed. Ah, exit. That was awesome, and I am on a roll. I have been beating these vicious dungeons one after another, and that makes me so happy. Uh, I wow. Wow, 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 is all I've got to say. Okay, I have not gotten uh, into a rut. Do I want to keep that Naga Cauldron? I don't see how I can use it effectively. It does allow overheal with potions, which could be a pretty awesome thing, I suppose. But um, there's nothing here I would get rid of for it. These things are all pretty good. My least favorite thing here is probably the Dwarven Gauntlets, and that'll get replaced by the Amulet of Yindor if I ever can. All right, guys. Uh, this has been another episode, and there's only one dungeon we have left to do. Thanks for watching.